the three greatest events in history, the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The birth of Jesus is when God became a man. 1 Timothy 3.16 And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. John 1, 1 and 14 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The death of Jesus is when God died on a cross for the sins of the whole world. Mark 10.45 For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. John 1.29 The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. 1 John 2.2 2. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. The resurrection of Jesus. That's God's sign that proves our faith is not in vain. Matthew twelve, thirty eight to forty. Then certain of the scribes and the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. This sign of the prophet Jonas that Jesus promised to provide was his bodily resurrection on the third day. Jesus kept his promise, and this sign proves Jesus is God. Jesus succeeded in paying for the sins of the whole world. And Jesus has power over death and life. And the good news is, Jesus is offering you the gift of eternal life through faith in Him. Romans 6.23 The wages of sin is death, but... The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord.